Hi YouTube, my name is Jenny. Uh, believe it or not, this is the second time I filmed this story in this video. I had to make some changes to it, but we're here, we're back. Uh, not discouraged. Um, and well, I'm here to tell you the story of how using intuition led me to where I am. So here's the thing, a while back, um, I was in a very stable position in my life and I'm here to tell you how sometimes we are in very comfortable positions and uh, we feel that we have to move from there but um, we were so comfortable that we don't want to move right so my story is that a while back um, I used to be in a very stable relationship I was married I didn't have kids and we were basically doing okay we were um, we, we didn't have any issues like per se we were not having uh, arguments or anything we were just fine but the problem was that um, something just didn't feel right like something was telling me to actually get out of there and uh, there was this intuition voice that keep that would keep screaming at me like get out of here get out of here and it kept going like that for years i just didn't listen at first but then i started hearing it every time louder but anyway um i was very unhappy and i thought i was happy but i actually wasn't uh, there were many other reasons behind it that now that I'm outside that situation, I know uh, had an influence on that. But uh, the main thing is that I wasn't happy in that relationship and uh, that made me depressed. I started getting into substance abuse and other things that I'm not very proud of, but some of us have those faces in life, I guess. Um, until I reached a point where um, this could not be handled anymore. I felt like I was dying inside and something was not okay. So um, the whole process began. It was actually tougher that for some people because, uh, you know, sometimes and I would say most of the times when people get divorces, it, it's because they have issues and they go to court and they go to court battles and they have kids in the middle which makes it worse we didn't have any of that so in a sense it was a simple divorce but at the same time I felt like I was divorcing my best friend and um, I was very discouraged because it, it made me be very afraid of leaving my happy or like my safe zone or we would call it the comfort zone so um, the thing is, so the divorce happened and then I was trying to heal and I actually started like feeling better about stuff. Even though I was feeling bad, I kind of had like this intuition and this notion that everything was going to be fine. So a while later, uh, a few months later, I met my current boyfriend and this is where the story actually begins uh, because I um, reactivated my tinder account I had a tinder account previously out of curiosity I guess um, but then I reactivated my account uh, and I was at the time in the United States and then um, I did it they did a couple people here and there and whatnot and then I got back to my country and then uh, he and I started talking and then we started going out and um, a few months later um, he started this process of job recruitment so he was contacted by a company here in Sweden and uh, they wanted to start the whole process with him. So the, he did the first interview. Um, at first he was just curious to see what the process would be like. And then afterwards, uh, second interview rolled in, third interview. And during all that time, we were discussing the possibility of moving to Sweden together. 
And I actually felt very comfortable with that decision. And I, it was one of those moments where I felt that my intuition was telling me to go for it. I was very happy about it. Um, we had and have a very special relationship. We both feel very connected to each other. I actually felt that this was something provided by the universe because I, of course, divorced and didn't expect to meet someone quickly. I expected to be alone for a while, but I guess it's it was kind of meant to be in a sense. And uh, we're very happy and so much that the decision of moving to Sweden was not difficult at all for me. It was like a sure thing. I didn't have to think about it that much. And there were many other reasons why I thought it would be a good idea to move here anyway. I, I needed the change of air, the change of scenery. Um, so here I am. I'm currently job searching. Um, I'm actually, you know, very excited about other projects and working on some career changes. Um, but my moral here, the moral of the story that I want to transmit to everyone is that your intuition is always right. You need to learn how to listen to it and when you listen to it, actually pay attention and do whatever it's telling you to do or not to do. So um, it was a big switch, but I'm very happy. I'm, I don't have any regrets in regards to this decision. So um, yeah, that's the story I wanted to share again. I had to remake this, but... Um, I hope this is helpful. I hope uh, this brings you a message. And these are the kinds of things that I want to keep publishing in this channel. Things that make you think and help you improve your life. And um, yeah. Thank you so much. If you like my content, you can subscribe to my channel. Bye.